story to tell. Few people know that Fiat was once a famous Italian military aviation manufacturer. The most famous were the biplane of the 1930s, the Fiat CR32 and the Fiat CR42. In the 1950s, the company launched the G91 light ground attack aircraft. She was supposed to serve many European allies in NATO, but her circumstances made her service mainly with the air forces of Italia and West Germany, and later Portugal and Greece, and even America. In the 1950s, based on the experiences of the Korean War, the NATO generals wanted an aircraft that was compatible to the US F-86 Sabre, but more adaptable when operating at low altitude and a better view forward down. Fiat Aviation was the winner of the NBMR1 competition, and then G91 was born. G91 entered service with the Italian Air Force in 1961 and with the West German Air Force by the following year. G91 produced from 1956 to 1977 with a total of 756 completed. G91 was known as Gina. She was designated a light tactical ground attack aircraft. The plane had a length of 10.3 meters, wingspan of 8.56 meters, height of 4 meters, empty weight of 3.1 tons, and maximum takeoff weight of 5.5 tons. Born in the early days of the jet era, the G-91's design was heavily influenced by the F-86 Sabre. G-91 was designed with a single seat, all of metal. The forward section, which was produced separate to the others before being reverted to the center fuselage, contains various radio navigation and communication equipment such as radio direction finder, transponder, ultra-high frequency radio, and identification friend or foe. The nose typically contained a total of three cameras. The cockpit was positioned directly above the chin-mounted air intake for the engine. It was surrounded on three sides with steel armor plating. The glass windshield was also armored. The pilot sat on a Martin Baker Mark IV ejector seat. He sat under a two-piece glass canopy with excellent forward and side views. G91 was equipped with a pair of low-mounted square wings, which were square back at extreme angles both along the leading and trailing edges. Each wing was fitted with a single hot point on Italian models while the German variant was fitted with two.
The ambulance was a combination of a single vertical tail fin and two horizontal planes on square back. The undercarriage was a conventional tricycle arrangement featuring two main single wheel landing gear legs and a single wheel nose landing gear. The G91 was powered by a Bristol Citylay Orpheus 803 turbojet engine, producing 22.2 kN thrust. She was able to reach a top speed of 1,075 km per hour, a range of 1,150 km, a service ceiling of 13,100 meters and rate of climb of 30 meters per second. In terms of weapons, the center fuselage section housed the armament bay, which can accommodate up to four 12.7 mm M2 Browning machine guns with 300 rounds each, or alternatively up to two 30mm TEFA cannons with 120 rounds per cannon. Other munitions included various rockets and bombs, while gun pods and external drop tanks can be installed on hot points fitted on the wing. G91 can carry 4 not AS-20 air-to-ground missiles or 4 M9 Sidewinder air-to-air missiles. Despite many positive reviews, the G91 was not widely used and the number of aircraft produced was limited to 770 units. Previous orders were cancelled as the Greeks and Turks preferred the more modern American F-5A Freedom Fighter. In early 1966, Germany sold 40 to Portugal. These aircraft were later used extensively during the Portuguese colonial war in Angola and Mozambique. During early 1961, four G-91s were shipped to the United States in order to participate in a former evaluation program for the United States Army. However, the service subsequently relinquished on fixed-wing aircraft operations to the United States Air Force. And thus, the prospective G-91 procurement was not pursued. The G-91 retired completely in 1995. my video about the Fiat G91 answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.